Welcome. So this is the user-friendly form that I've created based on the tutorials that I've actually taught within our videos shown in my channel, how to create your own bulk sending VBA code within Excel to send it via Outlook. Now, that has been the quite the straightforward uh, raw approach of doing the code, but then you know, going forward, if you're not very comfortable or you're not really wanting to always work within the code, I felt like let me take all that knowledge and create more user-friendly form for those that are actually part of the community. So have a look here. This file can be downloaded if you are a patron with us in our community. Once it's downloaded, you'll notice that I've just created a template here. The important note is that the first row represents your headers, which is what you'll always refer to being your dynamic headers that you want to always indicate where it needs to be placed within your email. And then obviously each row represents one person with information. So when I have at least got two columns of information and at least one person in the row, then I can click on create and send. The first drop down will take all the headers above and place it in here and you'll notice it's name, email, attach, CC address and commission. Now maybe I wanted to add another one there so let me just cancel again. Maybe the commission needs to be paid out on a certain date so I can say pay out date and then we can say this one will be on the 18th of July 2020 and the other person will be paid on the 25th of July 2020. When I click it again, payout date has now been added to the bottom. So the bare minimum that needs to be inputted within this form is you need to indicate who you want to email. So we want to choose the column that represents the email address, which would be email. CC and BCC is optional. Subject, we can just place in our static text or we can place in some dynamic wording as well. So we can maybe type in well done, you will be receiving a commission of, and then we can just say we would like to add a dynamic value because each person will be different. So we say commission, and then we say insert that into subjects. You'll see it's added at the, after the static text. So well done, you'll be receiving a commission of that value. And then we can decide we want to place an attachment in there. If not, leave it open. But we do have one that I've just used an example, so I'll refer to that called attach. And then we can start our email saying, dear space dynamic needs to be the person's name. So that's the column name, insert into body, enter, enter again. We would like to inform you of your commission value of I can say again choose commission insert into body we would like to inform you of your commission value of that that will be paid out to you on and we have a payout date so we can just say again choose payout date insert into body we would like to inform you of your commission value of $300 that will be paid out to you on that specific date. And we can say full stop. Thank you for all your hard work. Kind regards, Excel team. So once you've done your first draft, as I said before, make sure that the two boxes at least inputted with the allocated column. Now, before you create even drafts or sending the emails out to everyone, you can click on test email that will take the first row and just show you exactly what it will look like. So once you are happy with it, then you can click to the next. So let's click on test email and see what it looks like. There it has just created the email. So let's go and look at it now. You'll notice that, okay, my default email is Jay Kluter. So if you look at the first row, the email is correct. Subject, well done, you will be receiving a commission of 300. But now you notice that I've just misspelled the word commission and there is no symbol of a dollar sign in front of the 300. So that is what I need to change here. So let me just go back while I'm looking at it. I can go in here and say, okay, I need to add in another M. 
as well as add a symbol of dollar sign next to commission let's go back to the email again the file has been attached so that link is correct then it says dear john it's correct we would like to inform you of your commission again i noticed there's another m missing there commission value of 300 again the symbol missing that will be paid out to you on that date okay so if i'm happy with that date format i can leave as is thank you for your hard work and regards excel team what's nice about this is that if you had to do the raw approach within the coding you'd always have to make sure did i put enough vb new lines in here you, you know what you see is what you get here so let's just go back and make sure that the commission has a dollar sign in front of it again then let me go back and close that one no do not save it let's do another test email again we know email address is fine well done you'll be receiving a commission of 300 dollars perfect dear john we would like to inform you of your commission that we paid on this date thank you for your hard work now that we know that the first template on the first row is correct it means that it will do the same with the rest and we have created two versions of this. Let's not save that. The first option is that if you don't have a list of like 100,000 or 50,000 or even 1,000, maybe you just always have 20 or 30. And before you send it off, you'd like the, all of the emails to actually be created and saved in a draft so that you can always go back and just make sure there's no small mistakes. Sometimes you always want to do that extra validation. You can then click on Save Emails in Draft Box. And as we know here, there are two rows, so it's two emails that I expect to see in my draft box. So it tells me all emails have been successfully saved in drafts. So when I go to my Outlook and I go to my drafts, then we will notice the first one, J. Kluter, with all the information, and the second one, to info at the plot, dear Steve, with his value of $100 and his date which is great because now you can just open it up and then send it off if you're happy with it. And then the other option, let me just minimize that. The file's still open. You are happy. You know that everything is going to work out because you've done this quite a few times already. You can just go ahead and click send bulk emails immediately. So the moment you do this, you won't even see the file being opened. It will just send it through. And when you want to go back and see if it's gone through, you can just go to your sent box within your Outlook. So let's click send bulk emails. All emails successfully sent. Let's click OK. Now when I go to my Outlook again, so when I go to my send mail, I'll notice there we go, John has been sent. And if I click above that, Steve has been sent. And because these are email addresses that I use, I should be receiving notifications of that soon. So let's just minimize that again. And once you're happy with this, you can just click cancel and exit and you can always start over. So the beautiful thing about this is let me cancel that. Then I can just say, okay, maybe I missed another thing I would like to place in more detail. So let's just add another one. Let's call this one sales for the year. And we can say this person did 15,000 for the year and that person did 5,000. Let's just place in the formatting. There we go. So if I go again to my menu, create my next email bulk sending. If I drop down, you'll notice that it's added the new one that I've placed at the bottom. And this can be added as needed. I really was trying to make this as simple as possible, especially with trying to minimize the amount of buttons that you need to click. And just to make sure that you could type and visually see what you'd like to send to someone. On top of that, making sure that you can add your dynamic columns where needed, quite straightforward. I'd really love to hear your input. And to my patrons out there, please go ahead and test this file. Make sure that it really works as I hoped it would. You know, test it to see if there's a limitation on the amount of rows that you could email perhaps, or if there's any other errors that pop up. I'd love to hear your feedback so that we can just improve this file to add benefit to everyone. Thanks again for listening. And if you're not yet a patron, please go ahead and click the link down below in the description. We'd love to hear your input and for you to join the community so that we can grow as a team.